catching turtles, but fish and other species that are attracted um, to the bait. Uh, what kinds of uh, cures are we talking about? Uh, I don't really know. I can talk about that. It's a little bit of, they, they use that for arthritis and also it's considered to be a powerful aphrodisiac. The farms so far are just producing the hatchling sized turtles. And it's one that we discussed um, when we met with the governor's office. And why haven't you taken the position that uh, no the increasing global market demand for turtle meat has caused turtles to become one of the world's most endangered animal groups, and we strongly recommend a permanent end to the commercial hunting of wild turtles in Florida. Even low levels of harvest would be unsustainable, and that's why we're just recommending one per person per day. It, turtles as a group are not species that can be sustainably harvested commercially, and that's, that's our bottom line. Um, other turtles are herbivores, so they eat primarily plant material, so they consume lots of algae and other plants in lakes. So all turtles are very important in lake ecosystems. That's right. So lastly, just some of what would you like? There is no threat that we can see at this point. We have slowed it down, we've restricted it while we take this opportunity to look at it. We're moving as fast as we can and in April we will be bringing a plan to the commission and then in June they will vote on it finally. Where'd you find that guy? This one was hatched from Lake Jackson. Really? Yeah. It's uh, four years old. By the time the season opens July 31st, we will have a management plan in place that's the very best protection for the turtles possible. Can you turn his shell just a little bit toward me? Like that? Yeah. There we go. 